Okie doke. Yeah, I'm, basically this video is going to, I'm trying to do, I guess, kill two birds with one stone kind of a thing. Um, so this is my, and trust me, prototype of prototypes, but it's going to be more or less like this. I like the height. So this is going to be my uh, prototype doppeldecker stand or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I like it. I've got a lot of movement in between here. I really like the, I don't know if you can see, um, kind of, yeah, it's pretty far down to the ground and I... Um, uh, I like the idea of eventually at some point using different um, uh, terrain um, sheets at the bottom here so we could have some different scenarios, maybe trench strafing and all that type of stuff or strategic bombing, whatever. Um, this is obviously, it's not going to be the entire plane surface, it's going to extend like the, the whatever, so if you can think of like a picture frame almost kind of thing and then so that this will be all rigid and then it'll be somewhere inside here. I think I'm going to use, still do a uh, square thing. I'm going to see what the, the dimensions are. So what is it right now? If I was looking at it from here to here, be about. So I think I could do maybe 17 by 17. That would be interesting. Um, what I would like to do actually is um, make two of these. Uh, I've got 117 days till can games, and see if Rob would like to do. And it's just just would be demo games. It's just for the sake of doing of having fun. That would be it. It's got absolutely no for me commercial, but I'm not doing any. It's just hey guys, uh, anybody out there want to move these, you know, these crazy little planes around? Uh, and away we go. I actually got uh, bought this for now because I, well, I was going to the D12 land, but I went and got a bunch of uh, multicolored ones. And yet again, uh, I, I, I interest. Oh, actually, I can just bend it down here. Hold on here. You can see a little bit there. All that stuff there. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just put, put it in, kind of well. No, so I want to also, like I said, it's going to be a second, a second thing here, or maybe I will go down. Hold on here. I want to see what you guys can see. I got to remember that once, I don't have to stick with everything forever, in the way it was. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, yeah, we're going with D12s, and what I just find it ironic or interesting that on Wednesday the Not J. Uh, live show, uh, quite a bit of it was on dice and we were talking about contrast and so on and so forth and right off the bat there were so many dice that off to the side I was like forget it probably the one I'm going to use I like this one but anyways it's not about dice the second thing is I got some more books uh, popped in uh, from, I decided to use that awesome books 20% uh, off uh, thing hold on I'm going to see where what I'm going to do is I'll use one of the dice as a registration thing and see where a good spot. Okay, there. I think it's about the middle, middle bit, so at least I'll know where I can go. So I used that, uh, I think they had like that sale. They were like 20% off uh, the whole thing, so I got a bunch of stuff. So here we go. Let's see what the heck I got. I can't remember, to be honest with you. There was one I think uh, I've been wanting to get for quite some time. And that uh, because uh, and this one here, uh, Peter Hart, The Great War, 1914 to 1918. Um, the uh, The Great War Channel uh, with uh, Indy Nidell, he ma mentions this book and references this book often. So I was like, okay, you gotta you gotta get around to getting it. So it's there. Um, this one, are you kidding me? Come on, The Berlin to Baghdad Express. I was just like, oh yes, please. <laughs> I really, really, really want to read this, but uh, yet again, I've got four trillion other books. Uh, um, well, I'll just do what I can. Let's see who's that. Who's the three there? So I don't know. We got the Kaiser, uh, and I don't know who the other two are. That would be interesting to know. All right, uh, and then this guy, uh, this one here. Uh, Every woman remembered. Daughters of Newport in the Great War. Um, looks like a. I just. Uh, I just real yeah. I, I like well, I like flipping back and forth. It's going to be a good, I think, a good book to read. Uh, this one's a monster and a half, but uh, also um, has been um, referenced again by um, Indian Idell and others. Uh, well, from the Great War YouTube channel, the catastrophe Europe goes to war nineteen fourteen. I even think they did a. Um, uh, a series of this, uh, the Canadian, uh, um, I think it was funded by the Canadian government or something like that. And this puppy, whoa, interesting about the, uh, looks like part of my thing got cut off or whatever. And um, this is uh, Germany's Western Front translations from the German 
Official History of the Great War, 1914, Part 1. I think uh, the first person that kind of got me uh, to let me know about this book was... Um, oh, darn it. What's his name there? Um, uh, the guy that did... Um, oh, I can't remember his name. But the YouTube guy that... I just He just keeps popping up all the time. I'll find him later. Um, yeah, he was, uh, he did a bunch of these and I was like, oh boy, I really, I think there's like six, six, uh, six parts to this, but I was like, oh gosh, I really want to take a look at this. So that's it. Um, like I said, two birds with one stone kind of a thing and, uh, whatever. All right. Hope you have a good time. See ya.